good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got galaxy s22 and uh, the stock one ui 7 firmware got released for the galaxy s22 already and if you want to flash manually or if you want to update manually your mobile phone in case if the one ui 7 is not getting on your mobile phone via ota then watch the video if you are getting help from my videos do not forget to like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel also thank you first of all you need to check the model number of your mobile phone like in my case i have s901 b s901 b this is the model number and uh, another thing tap software information so currently my mobile phone is having one ui 6.1 android 14 and uh, i will update my mobile phone from one ui 6.1 to uh, one ui 7.0 from android 14 to android 15. now you need to check another thing that go scroll down and check the service so provider software version here is the uh, the csc code country sale code oxm that is my currently mobile phone csc code that i'm going to flash a firmware with the uh, oxm uh, scsc code model number is mentioned here s901b the website link provided you need to click the link in my video description and this uh, website will get open uh, enter the mobile phone model number in this search bar s 901b so this is the uh, s galaxy s22 it will show so click on it then scroll down and here are the uh, categorized firmware like asia europe in my case i also have the europe mobile phone and i will flash the europe region rom btb and in case if you are uh, country if you know what region your country or what region firmware you have you can click one of it but if you are from asia and you can see that asia firmware csc code is available you need to check by clicking on it for example like i will, I will click the united kingdom btb firmware then next page will get open i will come here down and the firmware provided these are the latest firmware the above 31 you can see that Android 15 Android 15 Android 15 if you can check the date 1st June 2025 it got released to check the CSE code you need to click the latest firmware just uh, I will click on this latest release and then I will come down here I can check the o, o, uh, the CSE code like uh, CSC oxm oxm is what i am going to flash on my mobile phone so the btb firmware is suitable if i want to flash on my mobile phone so simply i will come down here and i will click on any these link to download the firmware which i have already downloaded so first of all let me tell you that if you are not having the samsung android usb driver installed on your windows you need to click the download link in provided in my video description click the samsung android usb driver and install it on your windows so the mobile the windows will detect the mobile phone easily then extract the firmware in same folder right and then open the extracted folder of the firmware to save the time i will rename each files just erasing the md5 like uh, click select the file press f2 then come to the end of the file erase the md5 and dot also the file is supposed to be look like like after os 15 dot tar that's it press enter key press c uh, click yes and done so the file which was having a md5 before now it is not having anymore and the file got converted or we i renamed the file right and you can see the icon also got changed so i will do this thing with another file okay i have done i am not going to flash the home cse oxm so i'm not going to rename this one i have renamed all above files then I will go back to my downloaded folder and I will extract the Odin 3.13.1. In my case, I use the Odin 3.14.1 uh, 
the above version but it was giving an error again and again so i download this patch odin 3.13.1 from the same for the website where i have downloaded the firmware and this patch version is working with my mobile phone perfectly so extract the odin then uh, open the extracted folder of the odin now here one more thing i want to do and i would like you to do also that if you when you open the extracted folder of the Odin, there is a subfolder inside, right? Double click to open the folder, and the Odin file is over here. I will go back, then I will rename the file like just giving one from the beginning of the file, then press enter key, and then I will cut this subfolder that I just renamed. And then I will go back to the my downloaded folder and I will paste folder. Okay, done. Now the first extracted folder of the Odin is empty now. I will just delete this folder. Then I will again click the, uh, the folder that I just copied. If I double click, the files is over here. I will go back and I will rename the folder. Just erasing the one that I gave earlier. Okay, press enter key done why i did that because if i uh, if i try to flash the uh, odin or if i try to open the odin having in subfolder it will definitely give an error so i will now open the extracted folder of the odin and i will double click the odin to open it then i will click first bl slot and i will go to my downloaded folder then i will open the extracted folder of the one ui 7 and i will select the file starting from BL by double clicking on it then I will uh, click AP and I will go same to my downloaded folder and I will select the file starting from the AP by double clicking on it and again click CP go to the downloaded folder now here is the thing that I rename the file because like if the file still having md5 and selecting the AP file, Odin will take a long time, around 10 minutes, loading the file in Odin on Odin. But now you see that I double click the file and the Odin straight away load the file. Now click CP, go to the downloaded folder, double click the file starting from the CP to select it. Then last one CSC, go to the downloaded folder and select the file starting from the CSC by double clicking on it. Odin is almost ready coming back towards the uh, mobile phone so we have to do few things before uh, flashing the firmware the first thing is to check the mobile phone battery it is supposed to be charged if the mobile phone is having lower than 30 percent battery make it to 50 percent or 60 percent i mean to say charge the mobile phone battery so the mobile phone can get the firmware easily we have to save all the internal storage data the data will get formatted in case if you are using samsung account sync your samsung account once then must remove it to avoid issues in case if you are using google account definitely you will be you will be using sync your google account also and then must remove and select the swipe to turn off the lock screen then power off the mobile phone Yes, we have to save the data, but we don't need to unlock the bootloader flashing the stock firmware on the Samsung mobile phone. Now the mobile phone is supposed to be totally power off and uh, we need a data cable. So use a good quality of data cable and the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer. When you see that mobile phone is uh, power off totally, then press the volume up key, volume down key and connect the cable with the mobile phone in few seconds you will see a warning screen release both keys then press the volume up key once to boot the phone into Odin mode this is the Odin screen of my mobile phone so the phone got connected with computer and got booted already in Odin mode and the Odin also detected my mobile phone this COM4 means that Odin detected the mobile phone simply come down here click start and these uh, flashing will get started now it will take a time so we have to wait here the flashing is about to be end 
and after flashing the mobile phone will automatically restart and the Odin will show pass message which already did that and the mobile phone got restart. I can disconnect the data cable from the mobile phone when I see the Samsung logo and I am done from my computer. The mobile phone will stay little long on this logo then finally it will start booting to the stock firmware of One UI 7. The first boot will take little long time. We have to wait here. Finally the One UI 7 welcome screen got appears on my Galaxy S22. I will complete the setup screen. All set to go. The stock firmware of One UI 7 got flash very smooth, smoothly on my mobile phone. And uh, we will get the new control center of the One UI 7 on after flashing the stock firmware. We'll go to settings, Galaxy AI. I will just bold the fonts. Same model Galaxy S22 S901B oblique DS. We'll tap the software information. And now this is what I got. One UI 7.0, Android 15, Base Paint version provided, build number. If I show the service provider software version, same CSC code. Thank you so much for watching the video. Take a good care of yourself. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.